Virgo, in today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever is on your mind for August. We have Eight of Swords in Reverse, Lovers Upright for your overall energy for the month. Your strong chemistry you have with someone, but it feels like the situation was keeping you stuck. You were overthinking, overanalyzing, but what is beautiful is that you're coming out of your head and you're not thinking about this situation as much. This does seem to be in regards to your love life, right? Paired next to the lovers. Let's clarify. Why is Eight of Swords in reverse Virgo's overall energy? Page of Swords. Some of you were spying, stalking, watching, whatever you want to call it, right? There's some codependency, neediness, wanting to get some sort of clarity, answers, but there was someone here that was really taking up a lot of your energy, your mind space. That is what you're releasing. I love this. So if this is an ex we're picking up on, you were constantly wondering about them, you won't be. Or you're trying to release yourself. Clarify lovers for Virgo's overall energy, please. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Inverse Devil. Some of you, there's no contact here, no communication, but there is strong lust, almost obsessive energy between the both of you. And perhaps not knowing, because we have Ace of Swords, Inverse with the Devil, the eyes are covered. So perhaps you were in the dark, you were, there's unfinished business here. You felt like there was more to the situation than meets the eye. But you don't really care. You're trying to release yourself here. You don't want the drama. Nine of Pentacles, there still is some neediness here um, coming through in your feelings, but I think you're working on healing. How this person will be perceiving you, Queen of Cups in reverse, King of Wands. Well, I'm getting King of Wands is this person's energy. Um, they're looking right at you. You've taken your love away. They feel like you're moving on. You're closed off. That is how they're seeing you. Someone who's healing and getting over them. A lot of you, it's no contact. They don't really know where they stand with you, so they're assuming things. But there's still a lot of passion here. They're having a hard time forgetting you as well, Virgo. You're still in their energy. They still think about you. But yeah, this seems to be a bit of an on-again, off-again connection or someone who is running hot and cold. There may even have been some mirroring here because they're perceiving you as someone who runs hot and cold as well. Moody. When you were dealing with them. How they'll be feeling about you, Moon, Seven of Swords. This is straight out deception. There was lies here. Emotional manipulation. Perhaps even a cheater, but there was deception. Clarify Moon for how this person will be feeling about Virgo. Hierophant. Some of you are dealing with someone who's married. Which is why things weren't moving forward with you. Someone who was selfish. May even be, if you were committed to this person, may even have been very materialistic, stingy with their finances but a lot of you I feel like this person's in another commitment or there was other people involved outside influences is what is coming to mind if it's not a literal person then something to do with beliefs tradition right with hierophant second house or values clarify seven of swords for how this person will be feeling well they are holding on to a lot of guilt regret which is not being expressed. This person doesn't discuss you with a lot of people. They keep, however they're feeling about you, they keep it to themselves, close to their heart. Why is Seven of Swords here? Temperance. This person is restless here when it comes to you. If they were to come back around, which I don't really see here, but it's a general reading, be very careful because the Seven of Swords is still coming through upright and this person threw you off. Look at that. Things weren't in your favor here. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups in reverse. 
And there is peace here, peace of mind, since this distance. So don't go back onto the, don't hop back onto the wheel, is what I'm getting. Some of you, there was physical distance here. But it can be emotional as well, right, with the moon. I want one more for the Seven of Swords in this person's feelings. Ace of Cups, exactly. They have love for you, they do. And they have their eye on you. Look at how the King of Wands is focused on the Queen of Cups. This person is wanting your attention. You are giving them some sort of ego boost recognition. They miss your friendship here. Some of you were working with this person or in school, some sort of business situation. Their intentions towards you, Ace of Pentacles, Universe, Ten of Swords, to not offer you stability, right? I don't, they don't have anything to offer you, which is why there is an ending here, Ten of Swords. So their intentions really is not to do anything here. They feel like it's over, it's done. Yeah, no communication, no forward movement. What action they'll be taking towards you? Three of Pentacles in reverse. You're not coming together, and it's because of a third element here. Yeah, no action, death. They're not coming towards you. How will you be feeling? Three of Cups, Upright, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you are not wanting to be single. I'm getting a few messages here in your feelings, so I'll mention all of them. Some of you are not wanting to be single. You're dating. You're ready for the real deal, right? And there may be some neediness here when it comes to meeting a new person or even if you're getting to know someone new, we need to work on flipping this Nine of Pentacles upright, which is emotional independence. Because when we rely on another for our happiness or you know, we let their actions dictate our moods and how we're feeling about ourselves, then that's challenging, right? It'll be a constant roller coaster because we can't control how others act towards us. So we need to find that within ourselves first. Overall, I think you're dating. You're having a good time for a lot of you. King of Wands, Universe, Seven of Wands, player-like ways, inconsistent. Clarify Three of Cups here for how Virgo will be feeling. Others of you, you aren't single. So this may be, I don't know, a past person that's wanting to come through in the energies because they're focused on you, but you're moving on with someone else that you have potential for commitment with. I do see that. Yeah, you're someone... Oh, ooh, I like this, Virgo. So you're someone who's slowly but surely moving towards emotional stability. So if you have been all over the place emotionally, you'll be more consistent, stable. Clarify three of cups here for how Virgo will be feeling. King of cups. Yeah, I think you're emotionally available. We were talking about emotional stability, King of Cups, someone who's emotionally mature, and I see you very work-focused. You're sort of minding your own business, getting what needs to be done, right? Prioritizing, but you're also, a lot of you are open to dating, meeting new people. Some of you are dating this King of Cups, or you will be getting to know them here in the future. Someone who will be available to you, emotionally supportive, very caring, nurturing energy headed your way. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you won't be single for long, and I rarely say that in my readings, right? But I'm really feeling it here. Yeah, hang in there. Strength, you're strong enough. Strength is also patience, willpower. It's been slow moving, but it's worth it. They're saying don't rush into any relationships, connections moving forward. Slow and steady wins the race is what this Knight of Pentacles is telling us. But I see you holding back from whatever this deceptive energy was. Seven of Swords, Knight of, Pent Knight of Wands in reverse. Now you don't trust them. You're very guarded here. I don't see you being vulnerable with this person. Some of you, you were committed to them and they stepped out on you. I do see that here. Because we have a Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone who is feeling exhausted. Perhaps was putting in all the effort. And this person was acting single. Although they were in another commitment. Or in a commitment with you. Right? Take what resonates. For your potential outcome, we have King of Pentacles, Two of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups, Star in reverse, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. 
So I do see a fallout here with one energy, but then I see commitment with another which I've been getting consistently. In terms of your past, I don't see much hope here. It's a giving up energy. And if you were to continue down this path, I see a lot of challenges here up ahead. Some of you are not seeing eye to eye. There's incompatibility here. Um, just two people that aren't on the same page. I do see commitment here in the outcome, but I feel like it's someone you're getting to know right now, or it will be someone that you meet here in the future because your advice is Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. Well, Hierophant also rules our second house, which talks about self-worth, right? And that is what I'm getting here. So know your worth. Don't settle for second best or less than you deserve. Don't compromise your values. And if you're dealing with someone who's already committed, they will not leave that relationship. is what I'm seeing. And if, you know, some of you wait around, you're dealing with someone who's not in a third party. They're saying it can work, but it will take a lot of work. It's not easy. So I see a sort of on again, off again situation continuing. But if you're dealing with someone new, this is very promising. I see stability, commitment. Listen to your intuition because we have a lot going on, but what they are assuring you here is that there is something traditional and long-term here in your future. Yeah, some of you, when I was shuffling, we have right person, wrong time, divine timing. So divine timing at play. This will be for a select few of you, Virgo. I don't see this being, because we have the two of cups in reverse, it's a fallout. Others of you, you could be dealing with a specific energy that is coming out of a relationship. They're going through a divorce. In that case, they need to release their past here, right? But let's get you some oracle cards and see what else we can get here. 63, manipulation spells. A spell has been casted. Yeah, we had that emotional manipulation here, so you can't trust this person. They're very manipulative. They're wanting the upper hand. There's power struggles here, which may be why I was seeing clashes, right? Two people that are very strong-willed and not wanting to back down. King of Pentacles can be stubborn energy as well, and I feel like that's your energy here. But a lot of you, if I look at the outcome, I don't see you entertaining the past. You don't have much hope and Six of Cups in reverse can also be holding on to resentment or just remembering what happened, right? Keeping that lesson close to you. Must let go of old self. Live two lives, one must go. Yeah, this person could have been living two lives. But it's also you, you're changing. It's like an updated version of you here in the outcome. You're actually going from the Queen of Cups in reverse to the King of Pentacles, the most stable king out of the four. We have children here, 12, doesn't want children, children affecting connection. So that could be what, married with kids? Yeah, I was feeling this, 30. You took your love away. They assume you moved on. That is how they feel. Queen of Cups in reverse, you took your love away. 30 could hold some significance to you. So yeah, they are assuming that you've moved on. That this is over. Strongest message today. You've taken your power back, Virgo. They had some sort of control over you in the past. Yeah, we have 96, lacks of, lacks, lack of flexibility, a desire for predictability. Yeah, you're going through life detox, you're making healthier choices, you're prioritizing yourself and you're on the right track is what is coming through. Okay, let's get you love fortune teller here. What can Virgo expect in their love life here, August? We have obstacles ahead, five. What can Virgo expect in their love life? 
So you have been going through some challenges here. The truth will be revealed. Eight. Yeah. Heartbreak and falling out of love. What can Virgo expect in their love life? Reaching a compromise. Especially if you're dealing with someone at a distance, they're saying if there's been some stagnancy, you'll see forward movement and you'll come to a compromise. So you're getting to know someone long distance, I believe, or short distance, whatever. In love with someone else. 33. There's two energies I'm picking up on. Yeah, taking their time, love to the next level. Meanwhile, focus on your success. Finances are affecting your love life, but you will be moving in together with someone. I see stability in your future. There's one energy that's it's done, and then there's another person that you will be having a home with, perhaps even sharing finances, intertwining, whatever, I don't know what you're doing, but they're wanting you to focus on your finances, and you're ready, you're ready for the next chapter here when it comes to your love life. Some of you, I feel like you know your long-term partner already. I'm just feeling that, and others of you, I don't feel like it's far from now. But this person was stringing you along, two-timing, third-party situation. What advice do you have for Virgos, August 2022? General advice for you. Curiosity, yeah. <laughs> Reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. Three of Cups is the energy you're in. This is your... I'm telling you, some of you, they're saying wait. Commitment is in your future. It literally came through like that weight and commitment. Don't rush things. We have you may get engaged or fully dedicate yourself to something that will be long lasting. Summer. What you seek will find you in the summertime. A time of joy, happiness, adventure, and no hiding. Put yourself out there. Look at that. Commitment and what you seek will find you in the summertime. Strong potential, curiosity, keeping one's options open, being curious about everything, excited about everything. Say yes to invitations. Go out. It's not a time to hide away or stay inside. Make the most of this energy because I'm telling you, this is long term. This is something serious. Perhaps even the one, right? Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles. Whew. Okay, Virgo, I will leave it at that. Take care of yourself and I will see you sometime this week. Bye.